In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Citroen Berlingo Multispace. What a pile of bleep! Citroen's much improved second generation Berlingo remains one of the market's best selling compact vans, offering a usefully large payload capacity and a maximum load volume of up to 4.1 cubic meters. It's now smarter looking than before and gets some extra high tech, but the main news lies beneath the bonnet with a fresh range of clean and frugal Euro 6 Blue HDI diesel engines. The idea is to rejuvenate this model's buying proposition, and on paper at least, the prospects look very bleak. The car is a load of crap. The um, van is a load of crap. The car needs looking at again. Let's talk about this Citroen Berlingo. I've got nothing but trouble with that car. Um, well, yeah, getting all the parts for it, a pain. I mean, the engine is basically made out of plastic. Yeah, plastic. So yeah, um, parts are a bit expensive, being a Citroen Berlingo, uh, 2016, uh, slow like a van, um, yeah, so the car is a pile of shit if you ask me, whoever owns this, whoever, it's, it's basically a van made to look like a car, it feels like a van when you drive it, you corner too quick, it slides like a so and so, um, what can I say about, about the Citroen Berlingo? Even looks like a van. If you look at it, you can see the resemblance of a van within you know the car's design. And in reviews, I've looked at it, states this uh, the best car of two that I own is the Citroen C2. Still a Citroen, but the parts are more easier to get hold of and it's more easier to work on. Um, I mean, Citroen designed a shit car when it comes to the Berlingo multi-space. Um, people might like the van version, I'm the van version, but I believe it's not much the same difference or any different to what the car is. Uh, the Berlingo car feels like a van when you're driving it. It needs looking at again, you know, the engine parts are expensive. Uh, you can't get older certain parts. It's been a pain to get older bits. The car is a general nightmare. Would I suggest anyone getting older, older a Berlingo? I wouldn't suggest it, no, because the car is a pile of crap. Uh, if I was you, I should have done the same before I bought this. But I talked, spoke, well, talked into it. The car is crap. I'm going to try and get the car fixed because it's costing me 10 grand. But the car is crap. I wish I'd never bought the Blade thing. Would I buy another one? No, I wouldn't. Um, I'm seriously thinking about getting this car sorted out and just parking outside a friend's house and leaving it and not bother touching it again. The car is a money pit. Engine parts made out of plastic. It's expensive to replace, even though they're plastic. So, yeah. It's an expensive car to repair, even though the engine parts are made cheap, they're not so cheap to buy. The car is crap. I'm not going to show the car, I'll just put like a, a picture of one, one that looks similar to mine. Um, even Clarkson said in his videos, the car looks and feels like a van. And it basically is a van converted into a car. Engine's crap. Everything about the car is crap. Um, uh, when it's, it can feel a slide when you go around bends. It's not a good thing I can say about the car. Uh, I went to do a service, I should never have tried touching it. And ever since then, the uh, parts started breaking. It's expensive to replace the parts. The list can go on. Um, if anyone's had the experience with the Berlingo, the car is not that good. It's a load of crap. 
I mean, the car is looking at again. They need, I don't want newer ones, like the 2016 HDI version, multi-space car, van, whatever you want to call it, is not worth the money what the dealers charge you for it. It cost me 10 grand with the finance on top of that. More than that. So it's going to take me over five years to finish paying for the car. I wish I'd never touched it, as I just said. It was it is not worth the money that I paid for it. It would never be worth that money. By the time I paid for it, the car would probably be in the scrapyard. It's halfway there already. I mean, I went to Germany and back in the car. And when I come back, loads of problems with the car. The list goes on. So my advice to anyone buying a multi-space, with the Citroen Blingo multi-space, stay well away. That's all I can say about the video the car at the moment. I'm going to end this video here before I rant on even more, but it's a quick video. Stay away from the Citroen Blingo multi-space. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.